Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial stuff finished down uh, 56. Nasdaq off 150. S and P's down 13. Uh, it's going to be a wild open tomorrow. Well, not open at 8:30 in the morning. We get the CPI, folks, and you know we'll see how this shakes out. Because see, if we take a look at the spy here, what you're looking at, you just listen to the program. My take is that we want to go higher, and you can see uh, this is going to get intriguing because you know this is bringing us back to uh, May 6th. This is going to try to get in the higher range. And, you know, bottom line, that would be the bullish case. The bears are going to make the case that, hey, man, this thing wants to go lower. This has been a fast expansion on the way up. And guess what? We're going to find out tomorrow morning uh, where the CPI goes in correlation to what the take is on the market. Uh, the NDX, the three Qs are set up the same way. Now, what's impressive about the three Qs is this. We know that the SMHs are getting smoked. And the SMHs, bottom line, folks, leave the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ leaves the market. SMHs were down today. Well, guess what? We're only down 364 in the queues. That's not a lot. You only had 38 million shares traded, and you're going against 53. And then you got to put the dollar in, in this mix because the dollar is teetering on its benchmark. The benchmark on the dollar is 106.752. And we're sitting right there. We've been sitting right there now for approximately, let's see, we've been sitting here. And this is why you see a sideways market going back and forth. We've been here sitting here since uh, the 19th of July. It's oscillating around that number. Because that number is very important because what happened when it took that number out, folks, okay, this is this saying that, hey, man, the dollar could go like a 123. You know, it made it up to the 109 level and then it says, I just can't handle it anymore. So it's going to be really intriguing. You know, what the dollar did do today is it rejected lower price. Didn't get any juice, but it did reject lower price. So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Uh, volumes come in light. You pull back into the strength. That's telling me. Tomorrow morning, the number's going to come in. Wherever the number's going to come in, it's telling me that this thing wants to go topside. Now, what's going to be really cool is this. If we get wide price spread and accelerated volume, because that's going to just forget it, man. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. Sharp.